We open the cutter and the kerf is very short. To tune the flame, you need to increase the oxy fuel flow so the kerf will form properly. That's why the latter part of flame adjustment is tricky. Just increasing the cutting sample alone won't do it. Let's open it again. Right now the kerf is about 6 centimeters. Add a bit more. Now around 8 centimeters and a 300 millimeter plate is no problem. Big diameter grids behave like this. We just plunge in. For thin sheet like this, try not to slow down too much on entry. If my normal speed is 100, I'll drop to 90. Don't slow down a lot. If you slow too much on small thin sections, it gets worse. Because this material is harder and the surface has some pitting, it's thin skin. We cut to the top edge, switch to oxygen, feed from the side, and cut it into a box. This thin panel goes very smoothly. Some people will surely say, you're burning the edges. Let me tell you straight. For a 320 cutting tip, pressure of 14 to 15 is fine. But here, we're running it at 17. The flame can be larger. On our side, we have 40, self-pressure, over 12 kilometers. 690 is available. These are all high-strength structural steels. We'll move it back in a moment. Many people can't get the torch in at this position. Remember, don't slow down. For example, if you cut at 100, you can drop to 90, but don't drop too much. Otherwise, the seam is too short and you can't push through. See how easily we plunge in? Let's check the thickness and the slag underneath. 310, right? The cut face is very, very good. This is our long barrel jet torch. You ask how long and why it's made so long. It has ribs. This torch really has ribs and the tip is a special type. The outer sleeve is very thick to protect the tip at high temperatures, so it's fine even when it gets hot. Because it's a jet type torch, it doesn't erode the tip on backfires. Now we'll turn on the cutter. Have you learned something? Please subscribe Weldmaster India for more welding lessons.